Okay. I'm going to, look, today was never going to be a good day if you had me, because uh, I'm sure the news hasn't escaped any of you. The question is, you get to choose. Do you want to hear Jam and Jerusalem first, or do you want to hear Fight Back? Can, we, can somebody call out? Which Fight Back. Been? Fight Back, okay. I have to say, I was sort of feeling very trembly about reading this poem. Uh, you know, often you write things and you don't want to say them loud, but here it is. Fight Back. Here on your soil, we aren't protected. Laws, neighbors we all embrace will fail us or succeed, protect or fail to. We're no different to anyone else, but we're a target who knows the form. Our grandparents, parents, their friends knew had heard, seen, felt, and either told us with silence, myth, or toothless old mouths, or by not knowing things, because their parents had been too dead to teach them. Their grandparents, because feelings were outlawed as a way to get through, we were trained to point duty without knowing its name, face, the purpose it had for us. Oh, you'll say, they're not loyal. We look away, move, but understand. Want to separate you from the bloodshed of defending us, ourselves for the shame of not being defended. Memory, not history. Flaws, not fault. Humanity's deaths in the absence of duty. Law turned away from fictions espoused. Murderousness appeased. While its functionaries are made marks. Cut, cut, cut like a swordsman, always after the banner carriers led the charge. Cut, cut, cut on the totems around which all the promises snaked which planned the latest rounds of deaths. Cut, cut, cut as everyone defies the latest news intended to strike fear in the enemies of its protagonists. Cut, cut, cut until the era gets tired and meanwhile, yes, there are starving, drenched, parched, diseased places which want or take piecemeal aid, intervention which baffles people who know the chop of full-scale war, unstoppable sewers of blood. Degree, measure is everything. But who sues for peace before a war that's decade revived? Who understands leaders whose generations outlive Hitler, Stalin, Mao? Who knows what language to speak while the Tower of Babel's engineers fall daily? Their hod carriers beg not to climb the scaffold. What talks to all lost and extant beliefs that point to the supremacist watches with open eyes as you lie down, rise up, walk by the way, observe so you can't say you didn't see. Mm.